क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन डेज विद वॉट क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन डेज विद अपरेंट डेप्थ इन अ लेक इफ देर इज अ कॉइन इफ यू सीट फ्रॉम द टॉप इट अपियर्स टू बी स्लाइटली अबव इट्स अ एक्चुअल डेप्थ तो सिमिलरली हेयर ऑल्सो सपोज थिकनेस इज वन सेंटीमीटर यू प्लेस अ कॉइन हेयर If you place a coin and see it from the top, it appears to be raised. So one is actual depth, say one centimeter. Second is apparent depth, say point eight centimeter. So purpose of the article is to find what? Purpose of the article is to find an expression for. Apparent depth. Suppose this is actual depth of the lake, and there is an object, object A, lying at a certain depth. It appears. We will just see by the ray diagram. It appears to be slightly up. Suppose it is somewhere here. If it is here. This is apparent depth. One minute to draw the diagram. So a ray, you need to draw it freehand. Fine. You know, draw it with the scale. Freehand drawing. A ray moves and hit. it hits a point c it is moving from water to air or glass to air if it is moving from water to air it is moving from this water is denser medium this air rarer medium the ray is moving from denser to rarer so it will move away so this is you can say ray number 1 draw free hand drawing yes your choice you have to mark these two angles no doubt this is angle of incidence this is angle of refraction but let me write this as i and r as it is you can mark theta 1 theta 2 it is actually angle of incidence because the ray incident ray this is incident ray making some angle with the normal this is refracted so this is angle of incidence this angle of refraction but i am marking it because in the previous part we have used i to be 45 and this was 30 degree just for convenience if an observer is there this observer will see this ray to be coming yes not from a but from some other direction the observer finds the ray to be coming from this point let this be termed as a dash so if you see number of rays coming it is only one ray diagram if you see number of rays coming the object a appears to be up to what point a dash let this point be termed as p what is given is d this height a dash is at what depth d apparent purpose is what to find d apparent step 1 triangle yes a b c it is a right angle triangle a b c in these two triangles a b c and a dash b c this part b c is common what about angles yes this angle is r this one is r This angle is I. What about this angle? Yes, 
these two lines are parallel, it is the same line, so this angle is what? I. So, for triangle ABC, tangent R is equal to what? Yes, for this triangle ABC, tangent R is what? BC by AB, AB is what? D. This distance A to B is distance D, equation number 1. Step 2, triangle A dash B C. For this triangle A dash B C, tangent I is what? Tangent is equal to B C by A dash B. A dash B is what? Apparent depth. Step 3, we have to eliminate BC, divide equation number 1 by 2. What you get is tangent R by tangent I is equal to what? Yes, tangent R inversely proportional to this is D, this is so, what you get is D apparent is equal to D into tangent R by tangent I. Important for normal incidence that is when you see it from the top, this angle I and R is normal. For small angles, for small i and r, sin i is nearly equal to tangent i and sin r is nearly equal to tangent r. So, I can replace it by, yes, tangent i can be replaced by sin r approximately, it is sin i. This material, the refractive index is new. This material air refractive index for this material is 1. For this arrangement, nu into sin r, nu into sin of this angle is equal to 1, refractive index of air 1 into sin of angle sin i. So, sin r by sin i is what? 1 by nu. So, D apparent is equal to what? D by nu. If nu is 2, suppose for material, nu is 2. So, if this is 10 centimeter, it appears to be at what distance? 5. 10 divided by 2, the coin will appear to be at 5. Time with you, 4 minutes to write. 4 minutes to write. And this error is equal to what? Yes, D actual minus D apparent is equal to D minus a D by. The error is equal to D minus D by.